Welcome to our exploration of Davis's theory of slope development, a fundamental concept in geomorphology that has shaped our understanding of the Earth's surface. Invented by the American geographer William Morris Davis in the late 19th century, this theory revolutionized the field of physical geography. Davis's theory provides insights into how slopes and landforms evolve over time, highlighting the processes that shape our natural world. He proposed that the landscape undergoes a series of morphological changes through a cycle known as the geomorphic cycle, which includes stages of youth, maturity, and old age. This cycle details the relationship between landforms and geological processes, illustrating how weathering, erosion, and deposition interact over time, emphasizing the dynamic nature of Earth's surface and the continuous transformation driven by natural forces. At the heart of Davis's theory is the geomorphic cycle, comprising four main stages, youth, maturity, old age, and rejuvenation. Let's break down these stages. In the youth stage, an area is often characterized by steep slopes, V-shaped valleys, and rapid erosion. During this stage, streams are vigorous, cutting into the landscape and creating topographical relief. Here, the landscape is dominated by youthful features. Examples include high plateaus and young river valleys. Next comes the maturity stage, where the landscape begins to level. The slopes are gentler, and the valleys widen as a result of lateral erosion. Rivers reduce their energy, and meanders start to develop. The surface remains stable, as sediment transport maintains the equilibrium of the landscape. Old Age As we move into the Old Age stage, the landscape shows pronounced signs of erosion and degradation. Sound of soil crumbling. The once vigorous rivers become sluggish, and the terrain is rounded, making it primarily characterized by gentle slopes and broad valleys. Rejuvenation Finally, we reach the rejuvenation stage, this section can occur due to significant geological events, such as uplift or changes in sea level. Erosion resumes, leading to the formation of new features and the re-establishment of steep slopes. These processes reveal the dynamic nature of Earth's surface, creating diverse ecosystems and landscapes. Waterfalls and lush greenery often emerge in these rejuvenated areas, providing habitats for various species. The cycle of rejuvenation is a testament to the ever-changing Earth, reminding us of the planet's continuous evolution. Implications of Davis's theory. Davis's theory of slope development has profound implications for understanding not only the natural world and its processes, but also for human activities, including agriculture, construction, and urban planning. Land use planning, urban development and conservation efforts can all benefit from this comprehensive understanding of how landscapes evolve and change over time, adapting to both natural and human influences. Emerging technologies such as remote sensing and GIS are providing unprecedented insights into landform processes. Researchers are now able to analyze data on a global scale, uncovering patterns and anomalies that were previously invisible. This technological advancement is paving the way for more comprehensive models that integrate climatic, tectonic, and human factors. In addition, interdisciplinary approaches are becoming increasingly important. Collaboration between geomorphologists, climate scientists, and urban planners is leading to a more holistic understanding of how landscapes change over time. This synergy is crucial for addressing contemporary challenges, such as climate change and sustainable land use. Future research is also focusing on the impact of extreme weather events on landform development. Understanding how floods, hurricanes, and droughts influence geomorphic processes can help us better prepare for and mitigate the effects of these natural disasters. Ultimately, the future of geomorphology holds exciting possibilities. By embracing new technologies and interdisciplinary collaboration, 
scientists are poised to make groundbreaking discoveries that will deepen our understanding of the Earth's dynamic landscapes. While Davis's theory of slope development originated in the late 19th century, its principles continue to influence modern geomorphology and environmental science. Today, researchers and scientists apply Davis's concepts to understand erosion patterns, predict natural disasters, and manage land resources effectively. For instance, Urban planners use these insights to design infrastructures that withstand natural erosion and minimize environmental impact. By understanding the geomorphic cycle, they can predict areas prone to landslides and floods, ensuring safer living environments for communities. Environmental scientists also rely on Davis's theory to restore natural habitats. By analyzing the stages of landform development, they can implement strategies to rehabilitate degraded landscapes, promoting biodiversity and ecological balance. Moreover, Davis's theory aids in the study of climate change effects on landforms. By examining historical and current erosion rates, scientists can better predict future changes and develop adaptation strategies to protect vulnerable regions. The timeless relevance of Davis's theory underscores its foundational role in geomorphology. It not only provides a lens to view the past, but also equips us with the tools to navigate the future of our planet's landscapes. Some modern geomorphologists argue that Davis's model oversimplifies the complex processes involved in landform evolution. They point out that his theory doesn't adequately account for the varying climatic and tectonic conditions that can significantly alter the geomorphic cycle. Critics also highlight that Davis's theory is largely descriptive and lacks the predictive power necessary for more nuanced scientific analysis. For instance, it doesn't fully explain the irregularities observed in real-world landscapes, which often deviate from the idealized stages he proposed. Additionally, some scholars argue that Davis's Eurocentric perspective limited the applicability of his theory to diverse geographical contexts. His model was primarily based on observations from temperate regions and may not be as relevant for tropical or arid landscapes. Despite these criticisms, it's important to recognize that Davis's theory laid the groundwork for future research in geomorphology. It spurred scientific debate and inspired subsequent theories that have refined our understanding of landform development. Conclusion In conclusion, Davis's theory of slope development highlights the intricate relationship between geological processes and the evolution of landforms. This theory provides a comprehensive framework for understanding how different forces shape the Earth's surface over time. Understanding these stages enriches our appreciation for the natural world. By studying these processes, we gain a deeper insight into the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our planet. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the stages of slope development. We hope this exploration has sparked your curiosity and inspired you to learn more about the geological wonders around us. We hope you gained valuable insights into the dynamic features of our planet. The Earth's landscapes are a testament to the powerful forces at work beneath our feet. Until next time, keep exploring and appreciating the beauty of Earth's landscapes. Remember, every hill, valley and mountain has a story to tell.